Ken, you're here at the Free Thinking Festival talking about... Uh, tell me what you're talking about. Well, it's what lessons there are out of London for cities and out of cities generally because there's been a real revival of cities. I mean, the idea everyone's going to leave and go and live in the suburbs has died. People, you come to a place like this, I mean, the centre of Newcastle, centre of Manchester have really come alive again. They're places people want to be in. Middle class people now are thinking perhaps in terms of staying because of the cultural offer rather than fleeing off to somewhere where they, you know, nothing's happening except the cows on the other side of the fence. Have you, have you suggested this to other you know, Have you taken this to other cities, your sort of plan for the metropolis? There, How know, have they there, received it? There is a, an organisation called the C40, the 40 largest cities in the world, uh, which we set up about five years ago and London called it together. And that now meets every two years. It's got a, a sort of secretariat that exchanges ideas. And you suddenly get all these mayors, and between them, they're most likely representing 750 million people, something like that, in one city. And you find we've all got the same problems. Right. You know? Technology is different, the scale of poverty, but and we've got more in common with each other than we most of us have with our own governments. That's right. So you're saying that it's been reasonably well received, then? You're, oh, you did, no, yeah. no, I mean. We're moving into a world where people are, I mean, half the world now lives in cities. By the middle of the century, it'll be 75%. They create, already, the half that live in cities create three quarters of the carbon emissions. So cities are the cause of the problem, but they're also the answer. You can act, that concentration of people means you can recycle everything, you can regenerate energy um, much more efficiently. So if we get it right, cities can be wonderful places to live and, and the planet can survive. Are you not in any way tempted to like move to the country, maybe? I love going to the country for a few days. I love walking in fields, going out with the kids, turning over rocks and finding slow worms and all of that. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> um, but after a few days, I'm really itchy to get back to where the pressure is more intense. Right, so the country is just a holiday for you, really? It's just a holiday. Right. Okay. Yeah.